All right, we're talking about the graph editor today, and this quick tip is all about just reading the graph editor. So we can click on this linear keyframe, this linear layer that I have, and if we hit the graph editor button right here, it'll bring us to the graph editor. Now, we're looking at the value graph right now, and what that means is that over time, time is on the x-axis of the graph, we have the value on the y-axis. So over one second, if we go to the one second mark, this x value goes to to 2880. At the 00, zero mark, it is at 960. So over time, it is going to this final destination, 2880, over one second, over time, moving up the graph. Now, if we were to bring this in the negative direction, so if the slope of the graph is downwards, it would go backwards. It The value would be going backwards. So what I want you to take away from this video is the look of the graph and how to read it for on a very basic level. So this is the graph editor. Now this button right here is going to show us the different properties in our timeline that we can look at. So if we select all of our layers and look at all the properties that are animated, we see all these different graphs and the shape of it will dictate the look of the animation. And if we click on this little eye, we can be like show animated properties. This will only show the animated property that we have selected. If we show graph editor set, I don't really use this one all that much. So you kind of just like turn that on and off as you need or show selected properties and that will basically just hide everything. So if you don't have anything selected, you can hit H and move around or zoom out, but it won't really do much, but if you hit the show selected properties, it will do that. And then you can uncheck this zoom button and then zoom out or zoom in, or you can uh, click the zoom button again and it will just bring you to that. Final note is if you click on the any of these layers, as I said, hit U on your keyboard, the different shape of the graph will change the slope. So the way you look at the value graph is really X is time on the X axis, Y is value. Over time, the value will change. The slope of the graph will dictate the look of the animation. So we'll talk about that, the intricacies of that in the next video, but I hope this tip was helpful. Let me know and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Put the place up. Put my face up.